Hello dear students, in the last video, video part 10, we had done up to define the following terms. Now, today we will continue with answer the following questions in short. So, write on. First short answer question is, give three important uses of carbon dioxide. Write on. First use, it is used in aerated drinks. Second, it is used by plants during photosynthesis to prepare food. Third, being a non-supporter of combustion, it is used in fire extinctions. Second is nitrogen. First use of nitrogen is liquid nitrogen is used as refrigerant for freezing food items. Second, it is used for manufacturing fertilizers. Third, it is used in packaging pre-cooked and pre-roasted ready-to-eat food items to keep them fresh. Second short answer question, which organism need more energy, animals or plants? Give reasons. Answer is, animals needs more energy than plants because they have to obtain their food either by searching or by hunting. Animals needs more energy than plants because they have to obtain their food either by searching or by hunting. Third question, write the chemical reaction of photosynthesis and respiration in plants. Reaction for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide plus water, arrow, glucose plus oxygen, right on arrow, sunlight and chlorophyll. Respiration reaction is glucose plus oxygen, arrow, carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. Fourth question is what are the percentages of oxygen and carbon dioxide in inhaled and exhaled air? Components make a table, write component, inhaled air, exhaled air. First component is oxygen. Oxygen in inhaled air is 20.9% and 17% in exhaled air. Carbon dioxide, second component. In inhaled air, it is 0.034%. In exhaled air, it is 4%. Fifth question. Which process continues in plants day and night respiration or photosynthesis? Give reason. Respiration, underline respiration. Respiration continue in plants day and night because Photosynthesis needs energy which comes from the sunlight. Therefore, at night, process of photosynthesis does not occur. Because at night, sunlight is not there. Therefore, respiration continues. Sixth question. Name the chief air polluting gases. Air polluting gases are carbon dioxide underline, carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide carbon dioxide nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide next we have for fourth part of this exercise answer the following questions in detail write on first long answer question how can you show that air is a mixture answer the following facts prove that air is a mixture. Write on first, the composition of air is not constant. It varies from place to place, from time to time. Second, the different components of air retain their identity. Third, the properties of air represent the average, represent the average of the properties of its component gases. The components of air can be separated by simple physical methods. Fourth point. Fifth point is no energy is evolved or absorbed when a sample of air is obtained by mixing of different gases. Second question. How can you show that 
air contains water vapor answer is in order to show air contains water vapor first of all take a glass beaker filled with ice cubes and leave it in air for some time second water droplets will appear on the outer surface of the beaker third point this is due to the condensation of water vapor present in the air in contact with the cold surface of the beaker fourth point thus this shows that air contains water vapor in this question also draw figure number 6.6 at page number 101 draw this figure in this question third question of fourth part write the harmful effects of air pollution answer the harmful effects of air pollution are as follows first excess of carbon dioxide causes suffocation second carbon monoxide the deadly poisonous gas released from the vehicles reduces oxygen carrying capacity of blood third point sulfur dioxide released from coal and while combustion causes headache chest constriction irritation in respiratory tract and vomiting fourth point nitrogen oxides released from automobiles affect the respiratory system of animals and defoliation of some plants fourth question is how will you test that the gas evolved is oxygen answer is in order to test the oxygen gas evolved firstly place a burning candle in a trough containing water second invert a gas jar over the candle third after some time comma the candle gets extinguished because the oxygen is used up fourth point we also noticed that an empty space is created which is occupied by water due to decrease in oxygen level fifth point the water level rises up in the jar from its original level next point this shows that gas evolved is oxygen now in this question also draw figure number 6.4 from activity or experiment 1 to show the presence of oxygen in air question number 5 why nitrogen is an essential element for plants answer is right on nitrogen is an essential element of all the amino acids in plant structures which are the building blocks of plant proteins comma important in the growth and development of vital plant tissues and cells that is proteins are important in growth and development of tissues and cells next write on nitrogen is so vital because it is a major component of chlorophyll underline it is a major component of chlorophyll the compound by which plants use sunlight energy to produce glucose from water and carbon dioxide question number 6 explain the importance of atmosphere answer is the importance of atmosphere of the earth are first is the presence of atmosphere plays a significant role in the water cycle it helps in movement of water vapor in the form of clouds from the ocean to the land and cause rainfall second point protects the life form of the earth from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun the presence of ozone layer does this by reflecting these rays third point it keeps the temperature of the earth constant so that it is suitable to support life fourth point it protects the earth from smaller meteors next point it contain gases which are necessary to support the life on the earth next point facilitates combustion and without the atmosphere combustion is not possible 
Next, the air in the atmosphere forms currents due to uneven heating and motion of the earth. Next, in your textbook at page number 114, we have few questions in which we have to think critically. So now we are going to solve these questions. First question is air is a mixture of gases. Give reason. Write on answer. Air is a mixture because in air there are many gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, inert gases, etc. And they are not chemically mixed. They are not chemically mixed or chemically combined. Second question, although Photosynthesis occur in plants, comma, but it is also important for animals. Give reasons. Answer is photosynthesis is also important for animals because animals need elemental oxygen or oxygen gas to survive and photosynthesis release it as a waste product. I am repeating photosynthesis is also important for animals because animals need elemental oxygen to survive and photosynthesis release it as a waste product. Question number two. Why should one not sleep under a tree at night? Answer is we should not sleep under a tree at night because at night trees take oxygen and release carbon dioxide or we can say at night trees undergo respiration rather than photosynthesis you can also write it by writing or in it okay next on the same page that is 114 we have diagram based question so i'm going to read it you also read along with me the picture given below shows how plants and animals are interdependent fill in the blanks given in the picture with the appropriate words from the box now look at the first one here we have sun and here we have plant or tree now in this first that is a right on sun rays that is sun rays are falling on tree next this tree release dash gas tree or plants release is oxygen gas write on oxygen gas next oxygen gas released by plants taken by animals for dash write on taken by animals for respiration in c write on respiration next d part exhale dash gas that is animals exhale carbon dioxide gas write on carbon dioxide in d next e part taken by plants for dash that is carbon dioxide exhaled by animals taken by plants for photosynthesis write on photosynthesis in e next f part roots absorb dash roots absorb water and minerals so here i have collective answers of all that is as you have to write respiration in c sun rays in a oxygen in b water in f minerals in f carbon dioxide in d and photosynthesis in e part Next write on home assignment from chapter number 6 that is air and atmosphere. Write on find out more about air pollution and its negative effects on all living beings. Now what you have to do? You have to find out all the causes of air pollution and their negative effects on all living beings in your surrounding. And write all these points in your notebook. So our 6th chapter for first term that is air and atmosphere is completed. Uh, so now you should learn all the keywords given on page number 118 of this chapter. And also revise this chapter thoroughly. In next week I will collect your test.